So I got access to the Google Ideas project, a web-based code editor. And in today's video, I'll be showing you what it can do and what it's capable of. Mind you, the project is still in development phase. So everything I'm showing here does not necessarily mean it is only what it can do. And if you are new to the channel, kindly subscribe. And without wasting time, let's jump into IDX. So here yeah, we can see all the templates we have. We have the Angular, the Next.js, the Flutter, Lustro, and Go, and all this right here. But as you all know, I'm a Flutter guy, so let's start with Flutter. Let's create a new Flutter app. I'll call this New App. And let's wait for it to be created. Okay. I need to delete one of my projects. So let's create a new app. New app. So we have this interface right here, which is just like the VS Code interface, which is very nice because most of the developers are used to VS Code. We have our IDX, the Android, the Build, and the iOS. Now, something I expect is that we should have, we should be able to build or auto test on iOS, but I don't think this is possible. But it's something I actually expected because this Google.idx we mostly appeal to developers who could on Windows expecting it, expecting this website to be able to build for iOS. But I guess we can still wait for it to be fully launched before I can say if I can criticize them, I guess. But Google, if you are watching this, you need a way to be able to build for iOS. By the way, as you can see, we have finished running the app on the web right here. So we have the this sample code to build or to and this button to push so we have this sample code also let's test our android emulator or our android build so this is our android build i think we can check it somewhere else Is this the React logo? I have no idea, but it looks like the React logo. If you know what this logo is, you can put it down in the comment section. It's looking as if it's built with React. Anyways, we have our cloud emulator right here. But let's continue to the website. Let's try to check our odds reload or odds restart. Let me try to change something right here. So if I should save, okay, and yeah, it is. I guess it just works the way Flutter web works right now. So you can press the button, everything works. As I said, we have no iOS device. We only have Android SDK, Android, and then Linux for the desktop environment. So if you enjoyed this video, and like subscribe to the channel. Also like this video and share it to whoever you think will be interested in the content like this. And I'll see you in the next video guys. Thanks for watching.